Alright, welcome to this eighth video in the series. Uh, we're going to be um, talking about how I broke down and formatted this body text here. <clears throat> uh, this gets, it can get a little uh, complicated. At first, it gave me some problems because there's a little bit of a learning curve to it, but I'm going to show you how I did this. So, I have the entire body text here, all this. Here, I'll highlight it in one layer. Okay, I recommend you do it that way uh, for for several reasons, which I'll show you here in a second. But in order to format it, you just format it the way you normally would, uh, like in a WYSIWYG editor, like Dreamweaver or Front Page or whatever. You can double click and then click inside the text if you you know you want that bold, which I have it bolded. You can click on bold here if you want it regular. Without the bold, you just click on regular, and there you go. It takes away the boldness. Um, <clears throat> I always make the headlines bold, you know. Um, I always make my links a different color. Uh, that's just what I do. No real reason behind it uh, that you need to know anyway. Um, the spacing is something that gets kind of confusing, so we'll double click. In order to set up the spacing in between, you have to set the go to this character window here. And. Um, you have to set it up right here. See this AV? That determines your your spacing in between the the letters in between each character. So if we set that for 50, you see every character is the spacing in between the I and the M and the P and the E and the R. Like it gets greater. So if we did were to do 500, you can see that's just ridiculous. No one would read that. But I usually do like 10, 15 sometimes. Um, I think the default is negative 40. Uh, and, and this is what gave me problems at the beginning. I, I, didn't, I didn't know I was supposed to format the text in SiteGrinder with this, in this character window here. And so I left it on the default. And when you go to render it and to turn it into an HTML file, <coughs> um, the text looks really stringy, real stringy and nasty. So, you know, that's that's one way to change that right there. I'll do 15 for this example, and then also the spacing in between paragraphs. See, you're on the character tab. You click on the paragraph tab, and here it is. We're at 15 spacing. If we were to do zero, let me unhighlight it. See. In between paragraphs, there's no spacing at all, which is not what we want. So <clears throat> you can do five, and you see there's a little bit of spacing there, but not generally enough. So I thought 15 was a was a good good spacing in between paragraphs there. It, it looks normal anyway. So that's that's usually the default that I that I'll leave it on. And also the default comes with it hyphenated like that, and which means it will just hyphenate the end if it runs out of space. And I always remove that, uncheck it, because I don't like those little hyphens. So, um, also on this character tab, um, you can do. Let's let's go here. Hold on, let me get back to here. We'll do. If you wanted to do like, you can bold it even further here. Fox bold, boom even more bolded you can underline you know you can strike through you can uh, do these little small caps and then all caps <clears throat> so it's just different ways to format your text but it's all done with site grinder it's all done in this character window which is this little icon here and if you uh, don't see that icon and you're having a hard time figuring out you know how to get to it then go to I don't know why it's not letting me close that you go to window character and it will pop up so um, huh, it's never done that before it won't even allow me to remove it but anyway so if it's not visible you go window character and this is ju this is what's showing the ones with the little tick beside them are the ones that are showing so I got the the tool, tool.
tool window, the layers window, options window, and character window open right now. So uh, if you want any of these others, you just tick on, just click on one of those. <clears throat> so um, that's pretty much it, I guess, for the text. Um, just make sure that when you're formatting, if you're going to format it for the web, then, um, uh, and by that I mean if you're going to format it here in SiteGrinder and render it, um, render the HTML file out, then I would definitely use this character spacing stuff because uh, if you don't, you'll end up with a bunch of whack text and a bunch of wacky characters and stuff that you didn't um, put in there. So that is it, I guess, for this video, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks.